We do have an update to a breaking news alert we first told you about yesterday afternoon. Teens from a youth group are recovering after somebody T-boned the van that they were riding in. Tonight, the pastor of the church from Delaware says they are grateful to be alive. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil live from outside UTMB in Galveston, where one of the teens is recovering. Sophia? Well, Dominique, the pastor tells me that they all suffered cuts, scrapes, bruises, and whiplash because of the crash. The pastor tells me two of the teens had significant injuries. One of the teens had lacerations to his arm and his shoulder and chest area. The other one had to have surgery on his knee, but they're all expected to be okay, and the pastor says he's thanking God that they're all alive. Looking back, we definitely felt that God was protecting us. Pastor Christian Dunn says it's a miracle he and his youth group were able to walk away from this crash in Texas City on Wednesday. It was terrifying. I mean, for most of us, it's the scariest thing that we've ever experienced. The pastor was driving the group of teens to see a movie when someone ran a red light and T-boned them at a high rate of speed, which caused the van to flip two times. We're all hanging upside down. Um, climbing out of windows. Some of them were injured and reaching in and pulling out their friends. Um, and so to see the composure of those teenagers just speaks a lot to their character and, and who they are. The church group is from City Light Vineyard Church in Newark, Delaware. They flew into Houston last Saturday and for the past five days have helped Hurricane Harvey victims in Dickinson, Santa Fe and other areas rebuild. Doing manual labor, we've been delivering appliances, re-roofing, doing drywall, ministering to families, praying for people who are hurting. Now the prayers are coming in for them as they recover. One of the teens, Gideon Peterson, was taken to UTMB where doctors had to operate on his leg after the crash left his kneecap exposed. He just had that finished and um, is looking really good. I just saw him, so his spirits are high and he's doing good. And as the youth group reflects on what happened, climbing out of the van and just looking at each other and, and being in awe of God's protection. They're rallying around one another and counting their blessings. And the pastor tells me that Gideon's parents are here. They flew in yesterday. He's expected to be discharged from the hospital tomorrow. They have set up a GoFundMe for his family and the others involved in the crash. As for the other vehicles involved, the pastor tells me that they believe everybody was okay as well. Reporting live from Galveston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.